Welcome fellow pilots! Many of you with similar hardware setups have mentioned that you're struggling to achieve the same FPS as me. So, I'd like to share my configuration settings covering everything from Pimax Crystal settings to graphics settings in both DCS World and Microsoft Flight Simulator. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on my latest content. Let's begin with the Pimax Crystal setup. Once you have your Crystal headset set up and running, the first step is to switch to OpenXR Runtime. To do this, you need to install a couple of software tools. First, install the OpenXR Toolkit, then QuadView, and finally the Pimax XR Control Center from Nbukia. You can find all the necessary links in the video description, along with detailed installation instructions. Now, an optional but highly recommended addition is QuadViews Companion, created by TeleMouse. It's a fantastic tool that allows you to adjust QuadView settings visually. QuadView is specifically needed for DCS World to utilize DFR, as it's not natively supported. Once you've installed all the required software, it's time to configure the OpenXR Control Center. Make sure that the active OpenXR runtime is set to Pimax XR. Then, enable Prefer Frame Rate over Latency. Please note that this option is not compatible with the Smart Smoothing, which is available in the Crystal settings. Also, turn on Allow use of the eye tracker and enable quad views rendering. Now let's explore the Pimax Crystal settings. The refresh rate is a personal preference, but I'm currently using the 90Hz mode. A new 72Hz refresh rate option will be added soon. Turn on eye tracking and if desired, enable auto IPD adjustment and wearing location reminder. Be sure to calibrate the eye tracking system and then head to the games tab. In the game list, choose common settings to apply these settings to all your games. Under render quality, select customize and set a value of 0.75. Turn off dynamic foveated rendering since uh, with eye tracking active it will automatically uh, utilize this feature. Keep smart smoothing off if you leave on uh, the incompatible setting in OpenXR Control Center. Finally, on general tab, ensure that your firmware is up to date. Now, let's move on the graphics card settings. Open the NVIDIA control panel, navigate to 3D settings and apply the following settings. Now, let's shift our focus to DCS World. These are my recommended settings, and while you can further optimize them by reducing detail factors, for example, I believe this configuration strikes a good balance between quality and performance. Finally, let's take a look at my settings for Microsoft Flight Simulator.
The final setup step involves enabling OpenXR within your flight simulator. Begin by opening the OpenXR toolkit. Choose your preferred key combination to access the menu. For instance, I've selected Ctrl plus Alt plus down arrow to open the menu and other arrow keys to navigate it. Another important thing is to check that you enabled Pimax XR for all your sims. Once inside the cockpit, open the menu as instructed. Don't pay attention to the FPS because I'm not wearing the headset and the eye tracking isn't working. So, go down and uh, the overlay if you want, enable it. Upscaling off, foveated rendering preset mode performance and pattern wide also enable turbo mode which is an experimental feature but it works really well in microsoft flight simulator the same open the menu then turn uh, on foveated rendering on preset eye tracking on mode Performance, Pattern Balanced, and Turbo Mode On. Okay, now I want to land in the middle of Manhattan. Life Aliens has improved. Thanks for watching and see you next time.